was looking for a case for my DJI Ronin RSC2 and made some changes to it. I put this quick release plate on it to match my Manfrotto plate. Um, and I was looking for a case I could use that I didn't have to unlock everything and put everything back to the default position and fold it up like this. And I just want to save some time on each shoot and not have to calibrate everything. So I went looking for an affordable case that I could do that with. And all the cases that are made for this stabilizer on Amazon and other places, you have to remove this plate, you have to undo all these settings here, and then you have to calibrate it again on your chute. So I went looking for something else. Here I have an Apache 3800 rugged mobility case. I got this from Harbor Freight. Before I continue, let me just stop and say, if you check out the description, I'll have a link to this case as well as another option I tested out that will also fit the RSC2 gimbal. I actually went to Harbor Freight with my gimbal and tried out different options to see what would work. If you don't care about padding and just want a hard case to put everything in, the other option is a lot cheaper. I paid for all the items in the video, but the links may be affiliate links, so if you use them to order products, I'll receive compensation, but it won't cost you any more. If you don't have a Harbor Freight in your area, shipping was only $7 for this case when I checked. This is only $40, and I was looking for something that I can put in my DJI RSC2 stabilizer. And this fits perfectly. I have a cheap lovelier mic here, which I, I am planning to get uh, wireless and put it in here. The big thing I wanted it to do is get it in here without having to undo my calibration on the gimbal. So I could just stick it in here when I'm done and I'm good to go. I have the handle. Let me take all this out. Take this out here so I can show you. There's a little bag with thumb screws and whatnot. I have the two plates here. Quick release plates, which I, I'm not using on here. So I have the extra wires that came with the kit here, which I don't use. I'll just put that back there. And this is just on the lower level, just because I don't really need it. Got that in there. It's not as rigid as it used to be, obviously, because there's a, a big hole. But that's all right. As long as it keeps everything secure, I don't mind having to mess around with this put the stand in there put the cable in here actually give those really matter good put the uh, microphone in there if I wanted to as well close it up has a pressure release valve here if for any reason the case won't open up because it's all locked up it's supposed to be IP 68 waterproof oh one more thing one other little thing I'm hiding in here, right in the top here, I have my Spider Checker 64. Well, there we go. And now, this is the only case I'm aware of that you can do this with. This is like the perfect size. Now I'll show you how I cut the foam in the Apache 3800 case to fit my RSC2 gimbal and all the accessories. This is eggshell type foam on top. And then inside, it has two layers of this foam that's scored so that you can pick it out and create your own sizes. And it has this thin layer of protective foam on the bottom. I wanted to make sure that it would fit just like that. And it does, and it will even fit like this. And it, depending on how you calibrate yours, you may need to have something else some other way, but fits, it'll close. So we'll start by putting in, figuring out how we want to put it. And it doesn't quite fit this way. It's, it's just too, too close to the edges. Get it as far in this corner as we can. And then try to get it here, right there. So this part's going to go in deeper than the other part. So let's pick this out first and see what we're going to do with the rest. Just using a silver sharpie, 
to mark it out, and then to mark two. I might need to do more. This is the first time I'm doing anything like this, so. Guessing. So, I'm just going to pick this out. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Is this going to fit in there? Yeah, that's pretty good. And actually, we don't need to cut out any of this. We might want to pull out this one over here. Okay, there we go. Anyway, we're seeing an indent. We just kind of pull it out. So we're just going to duplicate this. So we have one, two, three. So we're going to go one, two, three, and then pull out the fourth. Now this is now we have to actually make room for all of this. So let's see what we got. And now we can just start picking this out. Let's just keep picking at it. There we go. Let's see, does it close? A bunch of accessories here. These are the quick release plates that came with the thing, came with a bunch of cables. A bunch more cables. Came with this little thing here. We just make a little hole somewhere, put that in. And this, so I won't be able to put a microphone there. So, what if we did this? So, these two are the only accessories I really need the, the handle and the cable I use for my camera. So let's put these underneath. Let's get all those extra cables in here. Get this back on here now. Have a look there. Need to find a home for the handle.
I do want to see if I can find some place for this. room I could uh, stick a couple lavalier mics there okay and finally I have calibration checker spider checker 24 I could just stick that right in here this keeps everything secure I can access everything easily this is the only case I'm aware of that you can do this with. This is like the perfect size for it. And right, let's close it all up.